It's a dangerous Stop. love affair. Can't be scared when it goes down. Got a problem? Tell me Stop. now. Only thing that's on my mind. Two on this town tonight. I don't know if there's another team that surpasses this group of 15 as far as work ethic, um, how much, how close they are, um, as far as you know how well they play together, and. It has just been an amazing year uh, having this quality of kid 1 through 15 and it just has made it a, a dream team of sorts that is rarely, uh, rarely seen. My pregame ritual is reading a list of 15 things that I have to do over game that I've been keeping. Uh, for a few years and it helps me to subconsciously remember what to do during the game. Before games, uh, I like to I like to go take naps, uh, try to get some shots up before the game. I don't like to do a whole lot. Just keep my mind ready and listen to some music. Uh, Pre-game rituals, uh, we all go out to as a team usually and uh, we usually watch about the first half of the game before us and uh, some people have certain stretching buddies and stuff like that. As a team, we usually uh, gather around and pray and talk pregame speech. Yeah, but uh, personally, I always get stretched by uh, Luke Pestine. It's kind of a lucky thing that I have going on. When I drive in from Nashville, where I live, I gauge how my team is going to do by how many green lights I get. And there's about 12 or 14 um, you know, traffic lights on the way in. If I get green lights, we are going to have an unbelievable game. If I get all red lights, I'm uptight. And that is not a superstition, that is a verifiable fact. Coach King has been great to play for. It's my first year playing with him, but um, he's, he's intense at times. He gets on to you, but... Uh, when he does, you just got to get over it, play through it. He's, he's great to play for, though. It's a lot of fun. Uh, he's really funny. Uh, he's also intense at certain times. But for the most part, it's real fun. And, uh, you always love playing for a coach like Coach King. He's just uh, so intense. But uh, off the court, he's just such a nice guy, easy to talk to. It's great, I think. Uh, he's intense, and he yells at you sometimes, but it makes you better. Ready, go! Woo! You have any cookies left? <laughs> Punch like a girl! <laughs> to beat the other team so bad because they're right down the road. Uh, you're friends with a lot of them. You see them on the weekends, see them at parties. Getting to play in a game like that in that type of environment, it's just you want to rise to the occasion and win. Especially being my senior year, this is like one of the most important games in my career. So uh, we never want to lose the Ravenwood, but we, we never want them to put us out either. Five, four seconds. Drops and shots, no good. And charge! So we knew that we needed to come out for a big game. Uh, and it, basically, we just wanted to end their season. Guys, I can see more crowd. I saw it in your faces last night in practice. I saw it today in, in the film session. And I saw it the whole way in the game. And you, dove, you slid on your belly in front of our bench trying to save that pass. And you went on the floor for three times. You're a tough kid, man! Getting to play with just your best friends, being alongside them, fighting each game with them is, uh, is something you don't forget. These guys are like our brothers, and uh, just you go, you uh, play with them night in, night out, and it's just. Uh, your teammates and your coaches are the people you love the most this time of year. Uh, these moments will never leave uh, my memory. Like they're just such big games, and uh, just the, the players that I'm playing with, and my coaches, and family, and just memories like this, and just will never leave. 
Let's enjoy the fruits of this championship. We got the school buzzing, and this is what every high school kid in America dreams about. We're living. Oh!